What's up? So in my last video, I kind of was in the midst of rambling and I talked about the possibility of me doing some kind of video as far as what newbie polar should bring with them to class. So I guess this is kind of that, but kind of not. It's really just me showing y'all what I take to class myself for me personally. All right, let's get it. Okay, I had to take my glasses off because the glare on that thing when I just went back to look at the opening was too much. So <laughs> I'll just feel my way through, but I know like what everything is in here. So like, I'm not gonna be doing too much guessing this, okay? <laughs> but basically when you are packing your bag for a pole class, you wanna do the most with the least. So when I say that, I'm basically meaning pack the essentials but don't overpack things so like making sure you have grips and stuff like that but you don't have to bring every single pair of shoes that you have so i guess we can go ahead and get into it um i just got this bag like a couple of weeks ago off of amazon because my last duffel bag finally decided to kick me to the curb um, we had a good run, but I was overpacking it, and I think that really contributed to that bag breaking down. So I'm going to treat this one better. We'll see how it goes. But I can link it if y'all are interested in buying one. But I feel like it's a really cute bag. Over on this side pocket, I don't have anything. But let's see. I think this is, this is grip. So... As we all know, um, I, like season polars know, a certain grip company is just, I don't know what's going on with them. I don't know if they're going out of business or what, but it's not the end of the world because I found another brand that I like and you can see how much I like them because, I mean, come on. So it's a black owned pole grip brand called Pole Poised. And I've been using Pole Poised really, I think a few months into me polling or maybe a year into polling. I came across it in a Facebook group that I'm in. And I was like, oh, let me try this out. And I love it. So this first one is just like a stick that you put on contact points. You don't do it on your hands at all, um, and it really helps you stick. The next one, why is it the pocket back on? The next one is specifically a formula for hands, and I got the like extra strength version. I think she makes two different kinds of it, but I put this stuff on, and it works way better than the little little white bottle chalk stuff that we all used to use so i definitely recommend trying this it you only need a little dab of it and it'll last i open my bottle um and then the other thing too with this i've noticed if i put a little bit of this on and let's say my hands start sweating a little bit if i hit my hands with a little rubbing alcohol like just do a quick spritz it'll refresh this so this is my favorite. I feel like it definitely lasts. It does the job. I'm not worried about my hand sliding or anything. This is the same thing as this. So when I was cleaning out my last pole bag, I thought that I had completely used all of this. Like that's how much stuff I had in the pole bag. So when I saw it, I was really excited. So this is just like a spray on version, but I can probably refill it when this gets low. This is a grip that's meant just for like your body. So if I am in class and my skin is a bit too dry for me to stick to the pole, I can spray this on my legs and everything and like my body and I start to stick to the pole. Like it doesn't leave any sort of residue, which I like, um, and it absorbs really quickly. And it's shimmery, so I look good too. That's why I got the gold because it pops with the melanin. But I will link Pole Poise in my description too, so y'all can check them out. It's not sponsored at all. Um, I just 
really am obsessed with pole points. <laughs> so the next thing, like getting into the inside of my bag, whether I'm teaching a class or if I'm a student, I, I don't know for sure what's going to happen. <laughs> and I know that's bad because it's like, girl, you teach in the class sometimes. But it's just good to have like some basic things. So, for example, knee pads. I always suggest having a pair of knee pads with you, no matter what the class is you're going to. Just because you never know if the instructor might spring something out on you or if you're doing a move that's not quite accessible to you and you need some extra cushion on your knee. Like maybe you're down like doing some floor work stuff. Have your knee pads. And then specifically for pole, get knee pads that have a hole in the back of the knee. That's going to help you when you're doing more advanced moves and you're climbing up the pole. If you have to hook that leg, like, okay, pretend this is my knee pit and this is the pole. If I'm gripping, because this is fabric covering, I'm just going to slide. Versus if I have this opening, my skin is making contact with the pole and that's what you need in order to stick to the pole securely. So definitely opt for those and not regular knee pads. I always make sure I have a pair of heels and then I don't need to take both of them out. Like always make sure I have a pair of heels. I prefer boots. So that's what I keep in my bag just because it makes me feel secure if we are doing some things that I'm not used to. I kind of mentioned my preference for boots in the last video about the type of shoe you should wear. Um, and then I always leave my shoe protectors on my boots so that way I don't have to go fishing for them. Maybe I'll do a little video on some quick DIY shoe protectors. We'll see. Another thing that my friend Jen just put me on to that is it, changing my life, y'all. Um, the little toe protector things that you wear for point shoes. Wear them with your pole boots. My feet feel so good after I take them off. Like, just think about doing an hour-long class in heels and you're not sitting down the whole time. Eventually, I feel like your toes will start to hurt because your foot is kind of sliding forward in that shoe a little bit. This, it feels so good. I'm so happy with this purchase. I can link this too if y'all want to get in on it. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> And then what else do I have? Socks. Always need socks. I always try to pack a long pair of socks just because I feel like they look better. I feel like they are sexier than me dancing in my footies. <laughs> so I always have those just in case I'm doing floor work things or just need some extra slip if I'm doing, you know, pole flow and low flow work. And then the last thing that I have, some cough drops. <laughs> the reason I do cough drops is sometimes with my classes, especially if I'm teaching a mixed levels class, oftentimes I'll want the students to switch out time on the pole. So especially if it's one of the freestyle breaks that I have in my class, I'll do like a countdown so that they know to switch. My cat is trying to open the door. Jordan. Stop. Anyway, so the reason I have my cough drops is because sometimes with me doing that countdown to get the students to switch out, if I'm blessed in my music, they need to be able to hear me. So sometimes depending on how many freestyle breaks i throw in i might be a little hoarse by the end of my classes if i can just pop me a little cough drop and i think that's it for my bag honestly i've been doing good i've been i'm doing good like maybe we should do another one of these in three months to see if i have extra stuff in here but this is everything that i take with me back and forth to class as far as 
my outfits because I do work from home. I don't really have to do the whole changing when I get there thing that some people would have to do. So I'll probably just show up in, you know, things like this and just have my sports bra or whatever on underneath or my bodysuit, things like that. But yeah, if you're one of those folks who is going straight from work to a pole class, then you would have those outfits and things in your bag so you can dress out and stuff. But it's really not a lot to it. Um, I say, especially if you are new, don't let anybody make you feel like you have to buy all of these things right away. You'll build it up with time. Some people prefer not to do socks and things like for sliding around the pole. And it, it's personal preference. Some people may not want to show up with 50 million grips like I have. And that's fine too. You'll find along the way what works for you. And over time, what works for you might change. That is cool too. But let me know what you have in your poll bag. Is there something else that you feel like I should try out and drop into my poll bag? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what you want to see for the next video. I have no plans, just vibes. All right, see y'all.